then I came around and stopped right here. <sighs> Did you guys like that low quality meme I added there in the beginning? Yeah, it took me a whole two minutes to make. So yeah, I'm not going to sugarcoat it or, or anything like that. I'm pretty upset right now. And I'm sure you've all heard about this whole YouTube partner program controversy. So YouTube just released a statement today regarding the whole new uh, YouTube partner program requirements. And I'm sure you're going to see a bunch of videos by a lot of creators talking about this. But as somebody who is a small creator and will be affected by this, uh, I wanted to tell it from my perspective and give an explanation of how I feel. I'm not going to read the entire thing, but I am going to go over the main point, the, the, the thing that everyone is focused on right now, and kind of just talk about it. So YouTube said, yeah, starting today, January 17th, that they're changing the eligibility requirements for monetization to 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. We've arrived at these new thresholds after thorough analysis and conversations with creators like you. And right there, that is completely dishonest. Because if YouTube have had any conversation with any creator, not, not a big creator, no Logan Paul, no Jake Paul, no Lele Pond type people, but genuine creators, they would know that no one would agree with this. That's basically the only part of the statement that I need to read. See, what this does is that someone like me who has 500 subscribers, which to me is a really big deal and that is, that is really exciting and I, yeah, I'm thrilled about it, right? I have had a YouTube channel for a year and a half and it's taken me a year and a half to get that many subscribers. Thankfully, I have reached the watch time uh, requirements. Getting another 500 subscribers, that could take another year. Who knows, it could take a week because you can never predict these things. I'll be pumping out content, Other, this is not just me, this is everybody, that other creators will be pumping out content left and right and just because that they're putting all the effort in, it doesn't mean that they're gonna get the results. YouTube needs to understand. Basically what they're saying here is that, oh, you're just not working hard enough. That if you really want this, then you need to put even more effort in. And that's where I disagree. People will put so much effort into making YouTube videos and they won't get the results that they're looking for. Sometimes it's the other way around, and sometimes they upload one video and it gets a couple million views and boom, there are 50,000 subscribers. But no one can just bank off the idea, oh, well, that's going to happen to me, because more than likely it's not. Especially with this whole new new YouTube alg algorithm, that and the only thing that I'm that's on the trending page is Jimmy Kimmel. And I've seen a lot of people on Twitter talking about, and, and Keemstar, literally Keemstar uh, tweeted about this, and the YouTube creator's... Twitter page just retweeted it. So if you didn't think that this was bullshit already, that right there should just be the pinnacle. But I've seen people on you on Twitter saying that, well, this is a good thing, that if you started YouTube, that you, you shouldn't be doing YouTube for the money. You should be doing YouTube because you're, you're very passionate about making videos and you're passionate about entertaining. And to that, I agree. That's why I started. I mean, I have half of my videos on YouTube have copyrighted content in them because I just feel that sometimes a video that I make, uh, it would be better with a certain song and half the time I can't monetize because of that. And that's where this is all flawed because this isn't even about being paid at this point. This is about YouTube proving to us they don't, they don't care about the small creators. They don't think about us. And I know this is an example that you've heard left and right, but Logan Paul uploads a video showing a dead man a man who just committed suicide hanging in the forest, barely blurs out anything, puts him in the thumbnail, top of trending. I literally uploaded a video of the you touch of my spaghetti meme demonetized. Why? Apparently it wasn't suitable for ads. I, I don't know what. It wasn't offensive. None of that. If you wanted to say includes copyrighted content, that's fine. But for you to say that it's not suitable for ads, I don't, I don't know where that's coming from. This YouTube partner program, not only does it hurt a lot of small YouTubers because they wanted to have money and have the means to do things based off of creating YouTube, this hurts small creators to their core. For the people who said you shouldn't do this for the money, and that, that's not the reason why you should start a YouTube. Like I said, I agree, but this is more than that. This is YouTube saying that we don't care about you. And it hurts as a small creator knowing that I'm putting all of this effort in, I'm putting all this time, and I'm trying my best best to create the best content possible that YouTube 
doesn't care about us. So yeah, I might be passionate about making videos, but knowing that the platform that I'm going for doesn't care about me, it, it kind of hurts and it kind of makes you not want to do certain things anymore. You know, for me, I'm going to continue to make videos and I'm going to continue to reach that threshold. But I know that for a lot of YouTubers, this just hurts. This hurts them because they're, they feel undervalued and we are undervalued. I know this is kind of a choppy video and I know that this is not well articulated or anything like that, but this is just coming from a person who's very passionate about this whole subject right now and someone who feels that I am not being taken seriously by YouTube and someone who feels very undervalued. And I'm, I'm not good at these type of sit down videos. This is all in one take. I'm not really editing. I'm only editing when I, um, when I mess up words, but this is all one take. I'm not trying to do this over and over again. And I'm not used to making these type of videos. But again, I just wanted to tell my feelings about this from the perspective of a small YouTuber who, who genuinely feels hurt and undervalued because of this whole new YouTube partner program. Um, and that's all I really have to say. So thanks for watching.